than one Brian Shaw, three-time NBA champion. I'm not going to get into a Laker fest, uh, but you guys know who this man is sitting next to me. So help me out here. We want to talk about what's going on in the West, and obviously you can help us with that. Uh, it's shaping up to be a two-horse race with the Warriors and the Spurs, but what the Spurs are doing, they can't be, they can't be ignored. Why don't we talk about the difference between why people should be worried. And like I said in the beginning, I'm not a betting woman, but could you see these two teams meeting in the finals, the Western Conference Finals? Definitely, I think that's what is... is like I said in the beginning, I'm not a betting woman, but could you see these two teams meeting in the finals, the Western Conference Finals? Definitely, I think that's what is... is and have 43 points in their win last night. I mean, looking great. His ankle obviously not an issue anymore. He said he'd be back to 100%, and he is. Mm -hmm. uh, we've heard Mark Jackson say before, back when they did not have the shine they have now, that uh, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry were the best backcourt in the entire league, and if not what he's ever seen before. Why are they such an unstoppable duo in terms of backcourt? I think so. Wow. All right, Brian Shaw is our guest analyst. I appreciate it. During the commercial break, you'll have to understand, I will ask him about the Lakers, but for now, I ask you to hang tight. Right. I'll send it back over to Jamie. All right, Jamie, uh, as he does every week, uh, he's working on his outfit right now. I like it unbuttoned. Thank you. I okay. appreciate that. Okay, our sports center correspondent. You know they're only, watch, you know they only watching for you, but uh, I got to get pretty for my demographic. Listen, you know. the demo, does he, is it pretty? Yeah, Thank I think you. you're okay. I appreciate that. So uh, I, I think you're tackling a subject this week that I find mm -hmm. extremely uh, interesting, yep. and I just don't understand the popularity of the Jordan cry face. Well, Check the, uh, the crying Jordan face like yes. bald eagles. Pandas yes. and a Wu-Tang album. And Wu-Tang albums. Yeah. We don't know how much time is left, right? I We're just, exhausting this resource right now. I don't know. You know? I, I, I feel as if they deserved it for the Eagles loss. The Patriots did deserve the, the crying Jordan face for I, the Eagles you know The what? Eagles? Jordan cry. It, it's almost like if you wait, it's like wine. You know, it's like wine. If you wait, let it age a little bit, then it's all the more beautiful when it bubbles up. You don't have to throw it out there all the time. Okay, let me explain something to you. Like the greats, like Little Wayne. Shout out to Little Wayne. Thanks Shout for watching. Shout out to Weezy. Tunchi. Uh, we have Tunchi. We have to. We have to protect it. We have to protect it. You know what I mean? It's like it's like you were talking about my clothes, right? <laughs> I got that one go get them suit. Is that the go get them suit? No, this is the. Why you gotta look at me like that? You know that's not the go get them suit. Yeah. <laughs> the blue suit I wore last week is my go get them suit, but I can't throw it out there every week. We Brian do, Shaw. Carrie. As promised, Brian Shaw back with us here on the program, and after missing nearly all of last season, Kevin Durant back and making an impact we Ryan do Shaw. carry as promised Brian Shaw back with us here on the program and after missing nearly all of last season Kevin Durant back and making an impact we Ryan do Shaw. carry as promised Brian Shaw back with us here on the program and after we Ryan do Shaw. carry as promised Brian Shaw back with us here on the program and after